What's good you guys, Zach Gowdy here. And today we're talking about Super 8 camera, Super 8 editing. Once you have your footage to a digital file, a bunch of tips and tricks to increase your workflow and just things that'll help you when editing your Super 8 footage. Previously I made a video on Super 8 about how to get your footage digitalized, how to get it transferred, all the basic stuff like camera setup, your exposure, focus. It went really specifically into this camera, the Canon 3100XL. Today we're going to talk about the editing portion of it. So if you haven't watched that video already and you're looking for more of the basics of how to you know, set up the camera, exposure, any questions of the basic camera stuff, make sure you watch that video before you watch this one. So first let me talk about the Kodak camera I mentioned in the previous this video the super 8 camera that's supposed to digitalize your footage right away on the camera that camera is definitely not coming out at least as far as i know they haven't showed it at any trade shows and if you don't know what i'm talking about um, you can go do a quick google search for the kodak super 8 and you'll see what i mean yeah i don't think it's happening i actually went to one of their blog posts i just googled it and it forwarded me to their homepage. so i think that's a pretty clear sign that they're not releasing the camera and they're trying to cover their tracks who knows what happened if you know what happened with that camera please leave a comment so before we get into all the editing tips of today's video i do want to answer a couple questions that are in the previous video that i think were great questions Quantas jordan said how do you get super 8 film converted to digital well basically i covered that in the last video long story short is i use a company called pro 8 millimeter they're in burbank california you can basically get super 8 film kits and get all the processing and the developing pricing within that film stock so that's really nice and efficient cheapest way that i found to do it you can also just shoot all the different types of Kodak Super 8 film and just get processing and scanning and digitalize it yourself. There's tons of different ways. Definitely check out Pro Millimeter in Burbank. Kevin Gonzalez says, so does the Pro 8 millimeter film kit cartridges work perfectly with the Canon 3100XL? Yes, sorry I keep doing that, it's probably obnoxious. I just love the way Super 8 sounds. It just sounds so amazing. And we're gonna get into sound in a little bit. But basically, yes, it works perfectly with this camera. I've used it like six times. Can't complain, always looks great. Alf James says, how do I check the battery life? That's pretty easy actually. You just got the battery check button right here with this camera. You gotta check your different camera manual. Most of them do have a battery check um, with this Canon 3100 XL. Basically you just look through it and if your batteries are working, you'll see a red little flash. See, I see your little red dot right now inside the viewfinder. So once you see the red dot in the viewfinder, you know that your batteries are working. Mega Kamadi, I want to get started in Super 8 film shooting. I have someone offer me a Nizo Braun 48, 4080. Is this too much camera for me since I'm a beginner? It's a good question. I think it really depends. Like if you have the budget to get a really nice Super 8 camera and you have the money to spend on it, go for it and do it. But if you're someone that's trying to wash their money and is more on a budget like myself, then yeah, just go with the cheaper option. Like I said, this is my favorite camera. I love it. I've had it forever. I've shot tons of videos with it. And I, you could probably find one of these on eBay for like 35 bucks. Camilla Dazzy. Camilla Dazzy says, how do you understand when the film is ending? So. Basically, once you put the film cartridge into your camera, you'll see, again, next to your battery check light, a little dial right here. And then that will basically be your timeline when you know where you're going, where you're at in it, which is a really good question. You should always check because when you're shooting Super 8, it goes really quick. So as you're shooting, you should definitely check where you are in the film stage, especially if you have a story that you're trying to tell or something like that. Um, yeah, simply look on your dial right here and you'll know where you are in your film cartridge and how much more film you have left. Slap J Deep. Do you think it's possible to film with the Super 8 during a concert or is it too dark? That's a great question. Low lighting Super 8 filming is really hard. It's, I mean, simple as that. It's really hard to film at night. If you have um, a well lit stage and you're at a concert, it might be fine if you can get up close. Yeah, filming at night is always gonna be hard with the Super 8 camera. I think you just have to light the situation really good. There's no film stocks that are just gonna 
make your Super 8 footage look brighter. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. I think it just depends on where you are in the environment. If you stage is super lit, then yeah, you could probably do it. It'd be worth trying. Probably looks super sick. RDG Live said, speaking of editing, do you record the actual film camera rolling sound or was it like a stock stop word when you found? Now this is a great way to kind of segue into editing, which is what we're gonna get into next. And basically, I'll just start with, you wanna get an arsenal of assets. You want two different types of assets. You got audio assets and you got visual assets, like effects and snippets. So you cannot get audio out of Super 8. There's a few cameras that, my buddy has one that has a speaker and he says he can record sound, but uh, I've just never seen it work. So, I mean, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Anyways, what you could do is simply record your camera. I'll leave some links down below with some audio sound bits that you could take and use in your edit and they're really helpful just like some stuff that I've used in my edits a lot of the times in the background I definitely like to use a projector sound because it gives the noise of a super 8 similar to this and I think that really does enhance your film and your edit altogether. But then you can add tons of other audio effects, like say if you're at a lake, you can add some water, things like that, pretty basic audio things that you probably already do in your edits. But if you do do that with Super 8, it definitely makes it feel just extra warm and more enhanced and more like you're actually there you know in the moment it's super 8 footage. It looks amazing always, no matter what. But if you add some audio, then it just looks like just gold fucking gold sprinkled on top of more gold and you're just silking in it you know the next audio snippet i would get is kind of a beginning and end so like as it's almost like a cut in and then a cut out and then that makes it feel more like you're actually wa watching the beginning of a film when it when the projector turns on and when the projector turns off. So those are two other things I would definitely add to the beginning and the end of your edit. Adding those little sound effects and those little sound bites for those individual clips will just let those clips stand out. So if a bird's coming down and you just happen to get that on the Super 8, just adding a bird noise right in there will just let every little clip stand out. And you definitely don't need to add sound effects for every single clip and that's why you should just do it to ones where you think it makes a lot of sense. Now let's talk about effects. And and there's tons of effects you can download online, transitions, all sorts of fun stuff like that with Super 8. And this is where you let your creative juices fly. So don't get scared to just really dive in to some different stuff. Again, I'll leave some links down in the description to a couple overlays and things like that you can use in your Super 8 edit. So something I tend to do before I add all my typical asset effects that I have saved that I'm gonna let you have, you can download. I try to go through the footage that I just shot or got back that I'm editing and find any little like two seconds, one seconds of footage that you can kind of chop up and then add that and save that into your effect. And these are gold mines because nobody else has these kind of little snippets or nobody else has these same exact effects because it's just with your Super 8 footage. I mean, naturally you're gonna get light leaks and little weird little exposures and flickers here and there. So definitely use those. Those are just genuine and they're special to you and nobody else can have them. So definitely snip those up and take those to make sure you can throw them throughout your edit as well. Now, the idea of using a lot of these effects is to just make some sort of consistent aesthetic throughout your film. I think it's important to remember to not go too overboard and make it more something that just is an aesthetic point and kind of carries out the video but doesn't necessarily take over the video. All right, now that you got some good audio going, you got your music going, you got everything going, you got your timeline going, you're crushing it with your Super 8 edit. I'm hyped on you, by the way. Good job. Let me know. Send, send me a link on your Super 8 edit. If you make a Super 8 edit, I'll be hyped to see it. I'm gonna actually make a little Super 8 edit when I'm done with this, and I'll leave that Super 8 edit at the end of this. Let me know what you think. The very last thing you have to do is export your timeline and you're ready to go. Upload it to YouTube and let me watch that bad boy because I'm excited to watch it because I love watching Super 8 footage. Hope you guys like this video. Kind of didn't go into anything too technical, but I think some of the stuff did clear up some of the answers I had in my last video that you guys are wondering about. And I'm gonna leave you with a Super 8 video, but before I do that, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. Is that what it is? Thumbs up. Hit that like button thumbs up button, all the YouTube stuff. I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. MASH. So I'm just gonna show you real quickly here in Adobe Premiere what it looks like. And I didn't do anything crazy. I basically just added some audio projector noise from here and added some beach noise right here. Here's what that looks like.